I don't, I don't see any glaring marks. So you, you, you made it to the press conference okay. <laughs> I hope so. We'll see after. We'll see the reviews. What's the first thing that has to happen? I know you got to roll up your sleeves and get to work, but what's first? I, we we got to finish the coaching staff first. You know, it's that's the disadvantage about going to the Super Bowl and stuff. You're behind the mm -hmm. eight ball with that. You're not allowed to do anything until it's over. I've really had about three days now where I officially could do something. Right. Um, nothing set in stone. We've got a lot of guys who um, we're trying to get committed now. We've got to get them in here, get our contract signed, and got to go through a few interviews, but uh, hope to take care of that and get that done within the next week. Boy, you don't have too much time. I mean, you got, I mean, boy, two quarterbacks, four running backs, six wideouts, and everything else to, to fill them down the line. You got to evaluate and look at them. I get... Uh, you ready for some sleepless nights? Cause you got some. Yeah, I'm, I've kind of gotten used to it. It's, it's been a while since I've gotten mm -hmm. some sleep, and I'm looking forward to July when we get a little bit of time off. I'll sleep then. But it's, um, <laughs> you know, there's a process to it. You know, mm -hmm. the first thing that's going to come up is free agency. Right. And before you can ever look into free agency, you got to know your own team. Mm -hmm. So once we can get our coaching staff settled, it'll be 100% um, commitment to learning our own players. And once we have an idea of our own players, then we'll figure out the free agency. Yeah. And, you see what you can get out there to improve your team. You know what the 49er Empire is thinking right now as they watch this interview? Kyle, get us a quarterback. Get, get us a quarterback. What, 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 what do you say to those fans out there that, uh, that, that I, I guess each, each and every one of them are general managers? Well, I mean, that's the truth. And it's, um, I mean, it always is the most mm -hmm. important position. Um, there's probably, you know, maybe, I don't know, five to seven teams in the NFL that aren't right. saying that. So, you know, it's, it's a big deal, and it's something you want to look into as hard as anything. You know, it's um, you got to see what the options are out mm -hmm. there, what you have on your team, um, what are the best chances in free agency. You got to look into trade options, and you got to look into the draft. And um, whatever the best option is, we're going to figure that out as a coaching staff and a personnel department, and that's something we'll commit to trying to get done. Yeah, and unfortunately for you, uh, Matt Ryan is not walking through that door. Yeah, I don't, think, I, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> hey, on, on, on the subject of that, when, when the Falcons played the 49ers earlier, what did you think of this team walking well, I, I knew I knew they you know I knew they were hurting. They had a lot of guys on IR. I knew they were down in some personnel situations. Mm -hmm. I knew they were in a tough situation. I knew they had been through a long year. Um, you know, I know they didn't start out the year just being loaded or anything, but the way they got hit with the injury bug and us getting them at the end of the year, it was a tough situation for them. I have a lot of close guys who are on that staff, so I knew those guys. Um, and just talking to them and studying them, um, you know, I knew they were they were struggling from a personnel standpoint with the injuries they went through. In the world of hypotheticals, what would you have said if – I don't know, just somebody had just landed on your shoulder then and said, you know what, you're going to be coaching that team over there. I don't speak in too many hypotheticals. Okay. I've, been, I've been warned never to do that or it'll get me in trouble. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Steve Young gave me a text this morning. He said, uh, make sure you ask Kyle, back in the days when you were a kid as a ball boy, all the times that you stood by your dad as Steve was running the office, you kept telling dad, Dad, go, go, have him throw the bomb. Have him, have him go deep. You, you remember that? Yes, I do. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really, it's what my son does to me now. It's what my wife, and they tell me to open up with Hail Marys as the first play of the game. So, um, you know, you, you, you like to be aggressive. And the, the more you're in this business, you get scarred a little bit, and you mm -hmm. realize when it's smart to be aggressive, when it's smart not to be. But um, something that I've learned is, you always try to attack the defense. You got to see what they're playing and where the weaknesses are. And if you can find out the weaknesses, it gives your players a better chance to be successful. And that's really a philosophy that um, we've always had from a schematic standpoint. And um, I've learned over the years that we want to go deep, but you can't do it every single play. Okay, last one going out before we get out of here. Is this whole thing kind of surreal for you? I mean, think you're you're the head coach of the 49ers. Yeah, it's different. It's um, it's pretty cool. It's um. You know, it's definitely a dream come true. You know, just a few days ago playing in the Super Bowl and mm -hmm. now being out here on the other side of the country, um, being the head coach of the 49ers. I, I remember still how sad I was when I left here. You know, mm -hmm. it was always hard to move when you were a kid. And right. I, I left here at the end of my freshman year in high school. And, I mean, I was really happy where I lived in Saratoga. I was happy I'm being on the football team out there. And it was hard to leave and never thought I was going to come back as uh, myself being the head coach. And I always kind of dreamed of it. But it, to, for it actually to happen, it's a um, pretty special time for me and my family. All right. Well, good luck moving forward, Kyle. I appreciate yep. it.